Ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you say color lolly, I'm going to wash him, 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 I'm um, bring out the narrative, man, because there's a narrative basically in play. You know, you have the narrative of the scriptures, the Heavenly Father tell us the, the, from the beginning to the end what are the things them that shall come to pass and that will come to pass. You know what I mean? And that narrative, when you look upon it from a microscopic scale, um, it all boils down to the actions them that immediately are taking place right now. On the planet, you know what I mean, and um, one of those actions basically will take place is the imp- is the implementation of the mark of the beast, you know what I mean, and you have a specific narrative is been that is being played out on a micro level as we say a, a part of the large narrative that basically is going to lead into that um, prophecy, or basically fulfilling that prophecy as we speak. Now, a part of that narrative is. To get everybody to have a digital identity where a, a chip will be used, a RFID chip will be used as a, as, a, as a main part of dealing with your identity. You know, they call it a biometric identity, basically. You know, which basically is dealing with what? The mark of the beast according to the scriptures. So we're going we're gonna to take it... Um, from a, you know, we're gonna dig deep and show you how the narrative is playing out and what the end result of this narrative is. You know what I mean? In regards to the mark of the beast, by the way. So we're gonna deal with the identification system that is being um, ruled out on the earth right now as we speak. You know what I mean? The mechanisms that they are using to get this thing done and what the what the expectation of this thing is. You know what I mean? So we can start from the United Nation, you know what I mean, or what um, role they have to play in, in, in all this that is taking place right now. Go on, brother. All right, so the, UNI- the UN Sustainable um, Development Program consists of 16 goals. Right. Right, where they, where they pretty much have to, to, um, to accomplish them new world order, pretty right. much. Right. right. And under goal 16, right, the title is Peace, Justice and Strong Institutions. Right. right, and when you go to the, the um the subtopics are are, are the are the targets in this goal sixteen point nine, where we go down to, all right, so sixteen point nine says by twenty thirty, provide legal identity for all, including birth registration. Right, so this is what you need to understand that the United Nations need everybody to have a positive identity. Right, a digital identity. Digital identity. Okay. See, so there's a way how they going to get this thing done. Right. So we're gonna bring it clearer to you. You know what I mean? We're gonna extrapolate. You know what I mean? We're gonna dig deep. You know what I mean? We're gonna show you the mechanisms that they are going to use are is in be, um is in the process of being used now to implement that identification system. Right. You know? Alright? Right, so this is um, ID2020.org, right. Right, which is one of the alliance that's being used to, um, to push the, 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 the creation of a digital identity for everybody. Right. Right, so it says, identity is vital for political, economic and social opportunity, but systems of identification are archaic, being old, right. insecure, lack adequate privacy protection and for over a billion people inaccessible. Digital identity is being defined now and we need to get it right. Right, so this is what the push is towards. It pushes towards a digital identity. Right. See, this is essential for you to understand, you know what I mean, what's going on. You know what I mean, even with the quote-unquote COVID-19 situation, all of this tying together. You know what I mean? You need to understand the, up, the things that we used to basically happening um, geopolitically in the government circles and all that, you know what I mean, when it deal with health care or the, the, the affairs of every country that take place right now, it's all boiling down to one thing, getting you a digital ID, you know what I mean, so the, the, the thing is now, um, 
Okay, I'm the brother Brick. Um, read some more into the ID 2020 program, and we need we need to know you. We need to let you know who are the people that basically involve in these alliances because there are many alliances basically get set up. You know what I mean? Um, to 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 bring about this goal. Right. You know what I mean? So we are gonna break them down one by one, show you the people who involve. You know what I mean, and what else them involved in? Because we can tie in and fit the puzzle pieces together, yeah. Right. Go on. So it says for the for the one in seven people globally who lack a means to prove their identity, digital ID offers access to vital social services and enables them to exercise their rights as citizens and voters and participate in the modern economy. Go on. A part of the, the part of the most important. And that's part, essential, yeah? yeah. Right. But doing but doing digital ID. Right means protecting civil liberties and putting control over personal data back where it belongs in the hands of the individual, which is pretty much um, a lie. Yeah. The scriptures say, oh, them speak with lying words, yo. Right. Them tell you that, hey, you're going to be protected, you're going to have control over your data, but that is not true. Even now, right. we see um, with social media usage and, and whatever you do online, your information is harvested and sold to the highest bidder, yo. So right. even now your identity is not even in your own control. Yeah. Alright, so even right now, basically what they are basically trying to punt to you that they're trying to punt to you say, okay, yeah, look, we can um we can ensure that your information, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. um it's gonna secure. be safe with us or right. be secured. You know what I mean? So they're basically telling you that that the security systems that exist today, it's you know what I mean, um is not efficient enough. Since so you have other systems that basically are going to come in place to remove um, the current system. You know right. what I mean? And a part of that um, system that is coming in, or the system, or the, or the, the foundation of this identification system is the basically blockchain. technology that is going to be used. It's called the blockchain technology. Right. This is what, um, these are some of the things that you need to understand. You know what I mean? Uh, get, get an idea. How all these things things function that you can understand what's basically going on now. A lot of things out there you can research, you know what I mean, that you can get up to speed with what's going on. So when you hear them speak about certain things, they know um you have an idea what they are talking about. Right. Yeah, go on. So say so every day we rely on a variety of forms of identification to go about our lives. Right. Our driver's license, passport, work badge, building access cards, debit and credit cards, transit passes and more. But technology is evolving at a blinding pace and many of the transactions that require identification today are being conducted digitally. Right. From e-passports to digital wallets, online banking to social media accounts, these new forms of digital ID allow us to travel, conduct businesses, access financial and health records, which we're going to get into, right. stay connected and much more. Right. Right. But here them, them talk about this thing where you talk about. The, um, the, the lack of privacy and security them say while the move to digital id has many positive effects it has been accompanied by countless changes challenges and setbacks including large-scale data breaches affecting millions of people right most of the current current tools are archaic insecure and lack appropriate privacy protections and custom and commoditize our data all right one thing um all the things that is mentioned above See, in order to get something, um, identification system effective enough, you know what I mean, uh, efficient enough, right. all the, the things that is mentioned above has to be consolidated under one identity. Right. And that is the goal. And not only consolidated under one identity, um, and a secure system, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now, if we can scroll down, brother, we can show the people who are involved in, in this initiative. Now, we have Microsoft, we have Gavi, and we have a center. Bear these things in mind. Right. Who is Gavi? Um, who is Microsoft? Microsoft well, deal with what? But know about Microsoft. Everybody know about Microsoft. They deal with um, okay. Um, that they deal with digital technology. Right. You know what I mean? Because you 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 see computer run um you, you, you operating system your computer run by Microsoft if you're not using Macintosh or, or, or Apple or what you want to call it. But anyway, Gavi. Who is Gavi? Gavi is a vaccine alliance. You will say again, when you go back up to healthcare, speak about healthcare. So you have Gavi. When you go back up to security, we're talking about a center. What a center provides is what? Um, blockchain technology. Right. So we're going to go into the all that now and all the things them tie in. And all, because you see, all these names are, that are being mentioned, 
Um, you have other names that connected to these things like the Rockefeller Foundation. Um, like the um, Bill and Melinda, Bill Gates, and Melinda Gates, Gates Foundation, all these things tie in. World you know what I mean? Organization. The World Health Organization, the United mm-hmm. Nations, and the Sustainable Development Goals. All these things tie in as one. Can't you know what I mean? So, anyway, um, let first let's let's go over to um, you know, Accenture and play the video. Yeah, we can go Accenture, you know. Um, so this is Accenture.com and this is their page on ID2020. Right. A digital identity with blockchain and biometrics. Right. So biometrics, which basically you're gonna be your, your, um, biometric details is gonna be um, um, gathered, you know, you know, and everything about you is gonna be stored on the blockchain. Every single information that is about you, that connected to you, will be a part of your database that, right. that identify you. And, and nowadays, if you um, if you if you if you're building a resume nowadays, to apply for a job. You um, you put you you usually back in the day, you just put your name, your phone number, your email address, right. and that's it. Nowadays, they ask you for your social media accounts. Right. You see me, and, and these are the things, yo. Right. If, if you have a full picture of who you are yeah, as an individual. Yeah, activities them. Yeah. Right. Everything concerning you that basically you are attached to. Because that's a part of the identity. It's a part of the identity. That's what right. they are trying to do. They are trying to get everything that is about you to be a to be your identity. Right. Because nowadays no business exists without a social media presence. Right. You have a business and you have a logo. Right. And I need a logo. You have them Twitter angle, them Instagram, them Facebook, and maybe them LinkedIn. Mm-hmm. Everything come under that identity, yo. Right. Right, so we're gonna just play a short video just to introduce how Accenture are gonna have um, a hand in implementing digital identity through the blockchain. Right. According to Article 6 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, everyone has the right to recognition everywhere as a person before the law. However, 1.2 billion people in the world live without documented proof of their existence. That means they're excluded from modern society and the everyday activities that we take for granted. ID2020 believes that the future can be different. This public-private partnership is dedicated to solving the challenges related to identity in today's world. To do this, we need to understand what truly defines our identity and how we prove it. Okay, we so need to appreciate the human. Just the way you look now, and um, your name and your address, not enough. not enough anymore to identify you. You know what I mean? So everything that associates with you now is what's going to be your identity. You know what I mean? Spending habits, yeah. digital habits, yeah. social media your posts, health, your health. Everything is going to be a part of your identity. Can't you remember that? All right the heart of the challenge. Using innovative technology, we can discover how that identity can be established, trusted, and strengthened over time. Okay, um, when, when I say over time, that's, this, is, this is one of the, 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 um, the, the, the main argument out here in Jamaica about how intrusive the, 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 the new identification, which is the NIDS, that is mm. the, the, the Prime Minister, current Prime Minister right now is trying to fast track, as he would say, right. you know. Um, or intrusive it's gonna be, you know what I mean? But the argument of the int- uh, how intrusive it's gonna be, seeing it's not really being played out because um, about the biometrics. Yeah, they're gonna talk about the biometrics, but the, there's another aspect to it: the, the, the real-time data collection on every inter- individual. That's that's what the intrusiveness um, intrusiveness is. Because basically, what she said here, look while is that your Identity or your information is going to, um, um, what do I call it now? Um, you know, like things will be, be added over time, basically. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, so, um, your identity, the information concerning your identity continue to grow based off of activities and things that they do. Right. You know what I mean? That's how it's going to be. Right. Answer, brother. I am Sarah. I am a mother. I am a doctor. I am a soccer fan. I am Fabiola. I am a student. I am a princess. I am Zhao. I am a scientist. I am a teacher. I am 
can you show me some identification? No, my house was completely destroyed. I, I just ran. You Mark, need some ideas across the border. Yeah, I Mark, got not Mark these things. All these excuses, you know what I mean, um, concerning your current ID that you carry, is going to play over into what's actually coming. See, um, no, 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 what they said. They say, look, all right, hear what? Um, this man still call him house was totally destroyed, so some ID get burned up on them thing. Because this, 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 this is what you need to understand. The aim is to get you to have that information on you at all times. You know, and the best way to get that done is to give you a device that you cannot last or leave home. You know I'll what I mean? Or get destroyed in a fire. Right. Yeah? So all these excuses is going to play out in what type of identity or what type of device is going to be given unto you. Because you must have a device to access the, the, um, the, the, the massive data concerning you. Right. Yeah? One brother? Tell me, what can I do? I am a father. I am trying to find my family. Please, I'm, I'm scared. Hi, how can I help you? My child needs to be vaccinated. Okay, can I get your name? I am Nia. And your date of birth? I... I don't know my date of birth. I don't have a birth certificate. Don't you have any form of ID? I'm sorry Nia, we need something that proves who you are and where you were born. Can you please help me? I'm here on holidays but I've lost my passport and my flight leaves tomorrow. That will take some time to process. But I need to get back. Family emergency. What can I do? Can I get your name? Can you show me some identification? Oh, it's my name. What if your identity was always in your hands? <laughs> Hear that? <laughs> play on what words. if your identity... <laughs> play, uh, play on words, as the brother said. What if your identity is always in your hands? Right. Basically, they are alluding to... You know, you have easy access to all the data concerning you, but but on a, on a, on a, on a, on a literal sense, on a figurative, on a figurative sense, it's going to be in your hand. And what, 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 what we learned it from? The scriptures, man. We learned it from the scriptures. Can the scriptures say, oh, look, the, the mark is going to be real in your hand, yeah? Right. You know what I mean? So, this, uh, this, this is the Heavenly Father spelling it, spelling it out to you, man. The Lord is spelling out the, the, the mark of the beast to you, man. That's what's going on, man. Seeing so using certain words, using certain phrases. You know what I mean? Seeing so it's basically the point to us. And look, this is the prophecy is being made that is being fulfilled, man. Yeah? <laughs> Seeing, so um, brother, let's go um go to a, a, a scripture, then we'll go to the next article here. Alright, um, um this is um, Revelation chapter 13, I'll start from verse 16, and he right. caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, right. and that no man might buy or, sale, buy, buy or sell, save either at the mark or the number of his name, or the, or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Right. Here is wisdom, let him that hath understanding call the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six score. Is six hundred three score and six. All right, so we just jump to the ID twenty twenty um mark basically. Right. Seeing because this ID, you know, what I mean, <laughs> as I said before, it's it's a digital identity. It's gonna it's, I'm gonna entail the biometrics and all that. There's a device that you're going to receive, man. Right. You know, what I mean, there's a device you're going to receive, and we're going to go in to how they're going to implement an issue such a device you know what i mean but for now let us go into this now because ironically seeing the id 2020 launch technology um certified the mark ironically yeah go on, go on brother All right so this is from medium.com article posted last january january 24 2019 this is id 2020 launches Technical certification mark. God. Right. Following the completion of version one of ID 2020's technical requirements, we are proud to announce the launch of the ID 2020 certification mark. 
Both of these efforts reaffirm our mission to improve lives through digital identity by adhering to our core principles of portability, persistence, privacy, and user control. Right. You know, how ironic that, that this, this is called Mark, man. How <coughs> oh, ironic. Right. You know what I mean? These, <laughs> these things happening through the spirit, yo. Yeah, this, 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 this is the Lord's telling it out to you, man. Right, this the is elect. The, yeah, okay, the elect, by the way, because uh, right. I know a bunch of niggas. Um, no, first it, of right. all, them lazy if you look up the information or the things um, f- f- to try to tie in what's going on now. You know what I mean? So they just pass it off and say conspiracy theory or this or this or that. Right. You know what I mean? You know? Or, hey, hey, them just straight up distracted from what's going on. You know what I mean? Because the information is out there. The information is out there. Everything that is being done now, all the information is out there. All it takes for you to do now is a little research, man. You know? It's a little research, and you can find all these information. A lot of these articles and everything here we're going to read, it's coming from way back, even from 2010 going back. Right. See, so what, what is going on now is things that already were pre-planned, you know what I mean, are now being executed. Can. In this COVID-19 era, everything is now being executed, man. See, and we are going at that because um, we've been seeing, we've been seeing uh, everybody playing out their role in a, in a part of the narrative to bring across this mark or this ID. You know what I mean? Um, you can play some of the clippings from what basically take place, even the Caribbean here, you know, with our Prime Minister. And, in, and if you treat that Prime Minister, you know, you can play some of the clip in them say, yo, this is what's going on, man. Can. Because this is mandated by the UN. You know, our nation going to get this thing done. As we said before, everybody needs to have, according to um, Agenda 2030, everybody needs to have a what? A legal a, identity. A, a legal identity, which man. Which is going to be a digital. Which is going to be a digital identity as right. we were going on earlier. Right. Read, 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 read. Right. Every citizen of Jamaica has a unique identifier that will be able to ensure that whatever benefits that come from the government will go directly to them. All right, if you notice, this is, this is the Prime Minister speaking about COVID-19. So one of the issues them that they, they claim um, is that the system, current systems are, are, are basically failing and they need a new identification system to tackle COVID-19, man. Right. You know, when it come on to, to, to tracking, contact tracing and all them type of something. Distributing money. Distributing money and all that. That's what it was all about. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You need to understand why these governments basically talking about this, 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 these things are pre-planned. Right. You know, b- before you ever heard about COVID-19, all of this was in the works, man. Okay. All this was in the works, man. It's not just the other didn't come up with it. Right, which is which is why I'm saying in a, in a, in a similar interview, yeah. we cannot waste a crisis. Crisis, yeah. Right? So the crisis is the opportunity to bring about the system. Right. The future we're talking about is a modern future where we're moving now to e-identity, where every person in the country will be identified by a unique identifier and that all our services go digital and very soon the country will go paperless and cashless that is what we are talking about right so that no man can buy or sell save in e of this identifier brother right and this identifier is the device which is that mark you know what i mean the rfid chip man and that's what we're gonna do now we're gonna we're gonna show you how to medicine right they're going to try to get you to receive that mark, man. Pretty much. So we're going to go in a, um, over the years, what they've been doing, uh, what the seeds that they've been sowing in the minds of people, you know what I mean? Are the solutions that be, they've been speaking of for, for, for the past couple of years, how they're going to get this thing done, you right. know what I mean? Um, from a realistic level, man. All um, right? All right, so time Gavin now. Yeah. Alright, so so before we, when we speak about ID twenty twenty, we, right. we just look at Accenture. Right. Alright, we're gonna look at um Gavi. Right. Alright, so this is um the Gavi Alliance. Right. And it says the vaccine alliance helps to vaccinate almost half the world's children against deadly and debilitating infectious diseases. Right. Alright, so that's a them the main aim. Right. So called main aim. Right. Alright, as part of the mission to save lives, reduce poverty and protect the world against the threat of epidemics. Gavi has helped vaccinate more than 760 million children in the world's poorest countries, preventing more than 13 so, million. So, what Gavi is responsible for is getting vaccines out, man. Can. 
You know what I mean? No. There's a talk of the COVID-19 vaccine. No, um, you could you could hear it from the arse's mouth, which is Bill Gates, Bill Gates saying that look, um, Character things can't go back to normal except everybody get a vaccine. You know what I mean? That is the thing now. The push for the COVID-19 vaccine. You know what I mean? So now, oh, the identification thing gonna work. You know what I mean? Oh, you gonna oh you gonna ensure that people being vaccinated efficiently you know what i mean are people being vaccinated um um with with um precision and all that is to basically have an id system that can track or trace people who are vaccinated or or, or who are not vaccinated that's the reason why um, Bill Gates come up with his um, digital surfer ticket thing in regards to COVID-19. It's like an immunization card, but from a digital standpoint, it's going to be a part of your digital identity. This right. is the reason why Gavi is linked with ID2020. Right. No, you can, you can start to get um, the picture of what's really going on here. Right, that? So this is an, uh, 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 an idea that they came up back in 2010. This is Bill and Mel Melinda Gates Foundation, man. Right, this is their page. Yeah. And this is talking about Vox Shock. Right. right. And this was, um, November, came up with November 2010. Yeah. So it's a decade ago. And it says the purpose is to field test. So that I mean, they must have tested from 10 years ago, so right. now it's perfect. Right. right. To field test a mobile-based vaccination registry that uses fingerprint scans to track who have received immunization in the hopes of, receive, of reducing redundant doses and boosting coverage levels in developing countries. Right, okay. So this is, this is what gonna, they're going to use digital technology, man. Right now, there's an app that, if I come to Jamaica right now, there's an app that is placed on your phone right. to track um, if you breach the quarantine orders, man. When I come in, you're supposed to spend 14 days at home and the app, the app is to track if you leave your home for the 14 days, man. Right. And them, 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 um, them call you. If them say like you leave the, the house, them call you. You know what I mean? If you say, oh, look, we realize that you leave and, and in the, during the quarantine period and whatsoever, whatsoever. This, this can, this what can happen if, if, if you, you violate. You either you, you pay a fine or you, you go to jail. Yeah? Right. This is what happening right now in Jamaica, man. You know what I mean? Seeing so, the tracking of the COVID, um, um, cause COVID is the thing right now, it's the thing now. So we're talking about COVID now. Seeing so, there is a tracking system already set up. You know what I mean? Are being set up. Seeing, but as I said before, your man can't leave him phone in the yard. Disappear, gone about in business. Right. Me never see him again. You know what I mean? But with a chip. You cannot leave the chip at home, man. Just like a man left him, him to hide at home and your house burned down and them things. Just like where and, um, um, the, the, um, when you, Essentia, they are sure you, man. Okay. See, so, all these things basically is a problem. A device that is not connected to you or is in your hand. At, <laughs> your identity is not in your hand at all times. You know what I mean? Can be left somewhere. And there's nothing to connect you to that identity. Right. Because even if identity is digital, you still have to have something to connect you to that um, um, uh, access point to access that data. Mm -hmm. And that data is going to be that chip, man. Believe it or not. And we're going to show you that. You know what I mean? As a as lesson, go along. Go on, brother. Right. So we're going to connect the chip now with, um, with the whole healthcare thing. Right. Right. So this is from um, 2004. Right. Right, um, to show you how long this thing is being planned, man. Can. This thing is being planned and it incrementally implementing all of these plans, man. It takes research to know all this. And I uh, see, um, you need to research <coughs> to understand, uh, especially brothers, um, that is in the truth. You need to research to get an understanding of what's really going on. When you hear certain things on the news, you know what I mean, or to tie it in. You know what I mean? And even, even more importantly, tied in with the scriptures, man. Yeah? One brother? Right. So this is from the U.S. National Library of Medicine, National Institute of Health. Right. Right. And it says, um, again, it's from November 6, 2004. Right. FDA approves implantable chip to access medical records. Right. The Food and Drug Administration. So they've already been preparing right. to give you a chip 
to access your medical record. So Bill Gates is now talking about what? A digital surfer ticket. That's gonna be a part of your medical record. A digital surfer ticket is basically is a digital medical record. Seen in other words, a digital medical record. That is a digital surfer ticket. You know what I mean? See, so that's what Bill Gates is talking about now when people start to receive these vaccines. You know what I mean? So, this is what the FDA is, is approving now. It's approving a device that can give you access to the digital um, medical database. Right. Yeah, go on. So the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has approved very cheap an implantable radio frequency identification device for patients which will enable doctors to access their medical records. Right. Doctors hope that use of the device will result in better treatment for patients in emergencies or when a patient is unconscious or lacks medical records. R-A-E. Lose the identity card. Yeah. Okay, and, uh, and, and, and in, in this case, a pandemic, man, mm -hmm. such as COVID-19, the trap who get vaccine from who, they get none. Who is asymptomatic versus who is that versus who is that. All them information there. Doctors, uh, they're going to say doctors need access to all this information that they know how they basically operate within what's going on with the virus. That's going to be the excuse. Go on, brother. All right. So it says um, the chip is the size of a grain of rice and is implanted under local anesthesia beneath the patient's skin. In the triceps area of the right arm okay. where it is invisible to the naked eye it contains a unique 16 digit identification number a handle scanner passed near the injection site activates the chip and displays the number on the scanner all right so, so this thing is no joke man mm -hmm. you can get another article again to right. say oh this is what it is all about man all right so this is from um american journal of computer science and information technology Right, and it says um, using RFID technology for managing patient medical file. And it was published May 31st, 2018. So it says radio frequency identification technology using radio frequencies for identifying objects right. in inventory, tracing cars, in parking areas, or identifying books in libraries. Radio frequency identification also can be used <coughs> in hospital medical record for managing patient medical files rfid is a very important technology for identifying an item or object from nearest distance rfid also can be integrated with computer-based um, medical record file tracking application system all right all right so this is this this, this is what they're basically pointing to the people right now and, and just to show you all these things tying to what's going on now there's a um we do a recording of the um um the radio you know um with one of them officials out here in jamaica basically saying that um we need to track the people with a, with a physical tracking device basically you know what i mean so they basically um bring the idea bringing the idea out that we need a physical tracking device to track the covid um people people right you know what i mean um you can play you have it brother hmm? if you have it you can play it if it if it comes with that i pick it up yeah um, let's hold it next to the mic. I don't know what I'm about this. So he's saying. Okay, let's, let's keep him, the same as Okay. So he's saying basically, um, it's a Minister of Health and Technology, something like that. It, 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 it be. But he is. But, but anyway, he's saying that we need a tracking ban to track the um the COVID um patients basically, our people who basically come in the island basically who um are being quarantined or something like that you know so the phone is not enough then now they are saying that they need a device that basically that, that that can remain on you you know to to basically track people but even that itself is not going to prove um effective enough because why 
because a man can cut off a bun. You know? You see, it's it, it, it more, it more um, risky or more scary if a man chop off him hand. <laughs> when he come on to put it a chip in his hand. But anyway, still, just to, to push it some more that look, the intent is to get you people to get a chip, man. You know what I mean? This is the intent. Go on, brother. Alright, so this is another article, CBS News, back in 2010, November. Right. Positive ID deal advances use of microchip implants in Florida health system. Right. Alright, so it's a positive ID, the microchip implant health record marketer, formerly known as Verichip, so I'm changing their name. Right. Right. Has entered into strategic alliance with Innovations Avocare to use its online medical record system in florida's various regional healthcare organizations right positive id said that integrating health link into the system will serve more than one million patients right so the idea you know, is to get your health records your digital health records um to a positive id system which basically is going to be what an rfid chip man right so when i'm going to talk about like Man like a Nate when the man at all would say, look, a animal basically... Where's my dog? <laughs> animal get an RFID chip. This is what basically going on here, man. This is, this is, this is a trusted news source. So you can't say, yo, um, conspiracy, conspiracy theory. This is CBS News. So you can't say it's a conspiracy theory. You know what I mean? And they are talking about a device to be injected into people. You know what I mean? That them cannot get access to the yeah, medical yeah, records, brother. In the, in the, in the past couple of years, you know, um, RFID microchips have now been um, mentioned in the mainstream news. Right. It's in the churches um, speaking out, certain churches speaking out against it now. So, I saw more common knowledge. Come, right. Common man on the street know about the RFID microchip and common man associated with, um, with, with, with the mark of the beast in Revelation. You know? right. they still have someone that say, yo, yo, they're going to take it for the convenience or whatnot. Right. You know? But the, the point is, it's well known now, yo. And I know you, you, you hard hear need to speak about it. A, a long time in a year, you speak about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Is it because I know it's hard, it hard to dispute it now, yo? Right. So we're gonna get some scriptures that we can, um, you know. Kind of point. Yeah. All right. So this is um Isaiah chapter thirty-two. All right. Uh, I'm gonna speak from verse um six. Mm. It says, "For the vile person will speak villainy, and mm. his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy, right. and to utter error against the Lord, to make empty the soul of the hungry, and he will cause the drink of the thirst to fill. God. The instruments also of the churl are evil. God. He will devise wicked. He deviseth wicked devices right. to destroy the poor with lying words, God. even when need is speak it aright. Right. So this man intent basically is to destroy you. Ultimately, man, and he's going to use all these devices. Right? Well, I me, mean, um, is witchcraft. You know what I mean? Um, you know, by information warfare. You know what I mean? Uh, the healthcare. You know, all that. You know, cause healthcare one of the one of the main part of his witchcraft, man. Mm -hmm. Seeing these, these are his evil devices, man, and he's going to give you an actual device in your hand. You know what I mean? <laughs> that link you. With these evil devices, man. You know what I mean? Go on. Go on. Uh, this is um, Psalm chapter 1, 24. We start from verse 6. Blessed be the Lord, who hath not given us as a prey to their teeth. Go on. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. Right. So, so the, these information that is um, that that we have access to, you mm -hmm. know, maybe for a brief moment because... Um, there's soon to be a, a famine of the world, man. All them information will be will be there no more at some point in time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So so all these information that will come upon the understanding of the scripture and all of that and how to tie in the scripture with what's going on. The Lord is the one who revealed them things unto us, man. Thankfully, you know. You know, all praise to the Lord Yahweh Bashem Shai, you know, for what more understanding to them things here, man. You know, go on. All right. It's that our help is in so like I'm read verse 7 again. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. Right. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Right, because we can see other people get being caught in the whole um, psyop game that has been played up right. upon the people right now in order to, to get a vaccine. And finally you take the vaccine, you have to go one step further. You know what I mean? Once you, you, you start the process, there is no turning back. You know? 
So the whole COVID-19 is to get you to start the process, man. Right. You know what I mean? And it's going to lead you all the way into that chip. You know what right. I mean? And there's no turning back from then. And the Lord is the one who basically shows sin the intent of this, 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 this devil. You know what I mean? That we could escape. You know what I mean? Because this is a trap, man. The whole thing that is uh, from, from 20... From 20... The things that this has been playing out from 2020 start is to basically trap you up. You know what I mean? So our help is in the name of the Lord. Right. Who made help in the earth. Help is what? In the name of the Lord, man. Right. God through the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, you get this thing. That's why some man where we reject the name cannot understand what's going on, man. Hmm. Through the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, that's how we get this information, man. Yeah, go on. Right. Psalm 140, verse 4 Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Right. Preserve me from the violent man who have purpose to overthrow my goings. Right. The proud have hid a snare for me and cards. Right. They have spread and a net by the wayside. Doing that. It's always doing that. No, we, scripture saying, no, look, um, we're wrestling not against flesh, um, flesh and blood, blood, but spiritual weaknesses in the high places. And the, the devices that they're using, basically, say, um, 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 basically, have another precept, but tell us, um, um, what's the right ignorant of these devices? Yeah, um, yeah, you can use devices. I want to want to uh, basically this is a this is this is a um information war basically taking place, man. You know, seeing um, precept until I say, um, it's not carnal, but pulling down a stronghold, you know, one day. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. pulling down a stronghold uh, because that. the stronghold that these these men. Of on the people basically seeing it's their philosophies them man you know what right. i mean and you are be you are bewitched or deceived by this man this man um philosophies where them want to teach it to the to to any one of the institution them where you see him have set up on the earth now whether it won't be from the the, the 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 schools the the religious institution the governmental you know all the information that that you people basically um consume is basically to deceive you man Seen and there where the war is taking place. The war is the war for your mind. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's where, where the war is. Go on. Right. Second Corinthians 10 verse 3. For though right. we walk in the flesh, right. we do not war after the flesh. Right. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, right. but mighty through Yahweh. Right. So, the, so our weapon basically is, is the word of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Right. Seen, so we're using truth, which is the word, seen to fight against what? Lies. So right. lies is this man devices man that him push man go on. Can for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty to Yahweh to the pulling down of strongholds. Right. Casting down imaginations. Right. So th these things were basically you people have in mind, seen are are the imaginations <laughs> of these devil men. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go on. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of Yahweh. Yeah, how far what wisdom is wise than the Lord? It's wisdom, man. Can. Yeah, go on. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shai. Right. And to right. the that. Can. Psalms chapter 140, verse 5. The proud have hid a snare for me. Right. And cards. They have spread a net by the wayside. Right. They have set jeans for me. Salah. I said unto the Lord, thou art my, thou art my power. Hear the voice of my supplication, O Lord. O Yahweh, the Lord, the strength of my salvation, thou hast covered my head in the Can. battle. Can. Grant not, O Yahweh, the desires of the wicked. Right. Further not his wicked device, lest they exalt themselves. Salah. Right. Right. So th that's that's what spirit we have been here. We have right. been in the spirit now. We're praying to the Lord, begging the Lord, is him to deliver us soon, yo, because this man is about to accomplish his device. Right. Because the thing is, you know, right. um, there's a push against anti-vaxxers, man. You're going to be labeled as a, as a terrorist. Right. You know what I mean? And people, your, your, your family members and all that, well, that he's been scared um, of this COVID thing and that, 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 that they're, they're going to scare some more. Seeing Even them is going to be against you because they're going to say, oh, look, you basically is putting their life in jeopardy. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be rough on the men of the Lord in that day, man. You know what I mean? They're going to be rough on anybody who is against what is going to happen, man. Can. You know? Because people is going to police you. The one who was scared is going to police you. Plus, the police is going to police you, man. Right. You know what I mean? The military is going to police you. Right. You know what I mean? To, uh, to coerce you into these wicked plan that this man have, man. 
All right, so Luke 21 yeah. verse 12. But before all these things, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you right. and deliver you up to the synagogues, into the prisons, being brought before kings and rulers right. for my name's sake. Mm. Right? And it shall turn to you for a testimony. Set it therefore in your hearts not to meditate before what you shall answer. Right. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay right. nor resist. And ye shall be betrayed by both parents right. and brethren and king's folk and friends hey, we and get, some we get of a, you. We get, a, we get a brief example of this when the COVID thing just come about. You have people in Jamaica here basically ratting out them loved ones, man. Right. You know, the loved ones come, come um, like we move from a specific area in, on the island and come link them and them call police from them. Right. Yep. You know what I mean? <laughs> you have our, 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 our people here say they don't want certain other family members come here. You know, scared as hell of COVID-19, man. Right. You know what I mean? See, and some of you shall they cause to be put to death. Gone. And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Right. right. I will speak contrary, yo. Yeah. So that's what this thing is setting up, man. Uh, I, it, and it's it, it about to enter into, mm. into a phase where basically things, shit, all get, look real. Get, get, gonna get real, man. Start, it's gonna start appear real to all who believe say oh this was a joke man you know what i mean Can. yeah you know talking about the second second wave, wave. you know that is what the, the, the second wave is what they're going to use to convince you man right. to get this vaccine and then once you get the vaccine you need you need to have yeah, a device yeah, they come out stronger yeah. you know what i'm gonna say the mother said all right you because of you know, um, on a lack of vigilance, yeah, you see me on lack of carefulness. Now we have a, a more severe second wave. So here, we have got to put more stringent measures, measures in yeah. place, and we have got to put laws in place to persecute and prosecute the man them better we'll tracking and all them type of all things. them things. Yo, so they are gonna clamp down even harder because they don't <coughs> want a third wave. Because yeah. the second wave was scary so much that they are gonna justify doing all these things. Please. Yo, can can right? I'm um, just bring out this as well. John 15 verse 18. If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. God. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. But because you are not of the world, right. but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Right? So we know that the things that we are speaking now are going right. to cause of, to come into contradiction with, you know, yeah. you know, with society and popular opinion. God. God. Right? And ultimately that will lead to us maybe being in prison. I've been persecuted. Yeah. Right? Mm. Uh, can I just bring out... So, Ignorant of the voice, you can help yourself. Yeah. Right, so it's 2 Corinthians um, uh, 2 verse 11. Right. It says, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Speaking about the elect, the one third. You see me, we are, we are children of light, as it says in 1 Thessalonians um, chapter 5. We are the children of light. You see yeah. me, so we should walk. As the children of light, not being ignorant of what this man does, right? right? So we just are redeeming the time because the days are evil, so right. we can't be walking around willy nilly, you see me, and not being cautious, not being prudent, not being circumspect, Man. you see me, of the, the times that we're in, you are you, are you going to get caught up? Man. Hey, and, and um, you see, one of, one of these devil devices, this as the brother being um, talking about caught, being caught up and. We are fight as the fact that we are fighting uh, um, information warfare. There is a thing we call this man do, which basically is this 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 disinformation. You know what I mean? That them can caught people in the disinformation web that them can them can um 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 lower your credibility, man. If if if, mm -hmm. if, if you're speaking about certain things, you know them set certain trap. That if I take the bait, seeing your credibility get damaged, man. Right. So have to be careful of those type of information, like. For instance, um, the information concerning the, the, the vaccine um, and the chip that is going to be placed on the vaccine, they, they won't like people to run with that and say, oh, they, they're going to inject a chip from the vaccine in their body. No. No. That's not what's going to be done, man. And you see, when, when people all up on them things, they can easily come out mm. and discredit it, man. Yeah, like people that say 5G, they like, like coronavirus. 5G, coronavirus, madness, man. You right. know, so they, they come close to the truth with some things in order to divert people from the truth, man. Can. You know what I mean? So you have to be aware of those devices that this man use, man. This info thing. They are going to have men who come up and talk something similar to the truth with a little halfness to it that basically destroy the credibility of everything. You know what I mean? 
that's a strategy used by them 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 them, them, them um, what do you call it now them conditioning or social engineering process man I think you say one bring out no no that's it alright Hey, so what we say call Alal Yahawa, but Hashem Yahu Shai, but Hashem Yahu Kodash Double honors again to the apostles of elders and elders of Great Mastone Shalom to the sincere brothers out there and one third Shalom <laughs>